Hello everybody. I don't think it's a secret that you can always find very different people on dating sites from all corners of the world and that each of them have their own goals. Most of them want to get acquainted and make a strong, happy family in the future. But there are those who want to make money off of someone's loneliness. One way or another, dating sites are filled up with new people every day who are looking for love. Not long ago, I saw an attractive woman on one such site who blew up the site with her pictures. She wrote what she needed in her future boyfriend and that she is a beautiful, smart and interesting girl who wants to meet with an ambitious man who makes on average a half a million dollars per year. If the man fits her needs and is ready to spend money on whatever she wants, she'll marry him ASAP. It didn't take long to find someone. It was a young, ambitious 30-year-old financier named Peter. The young man wrote, Hello, I'm interested in your offer and I'm ready to discuss it. My annual salary is twice as much as you need. I live in a huge home with two pools, a gym and domestic workers. I also have a few expensive cars and a yacht. I'm offering a small deal but you should know that I am taking it as a loss, so you have nothing to fear. Your needs and your future husband all relate to his income, and you're offering to trade your beauty and youth for his money. Of course, looking at your pictures, it's clear that you're a beautiful young woman. But everyone knows that looks get worse over time, but my income and experience will only increase. It's possible you'll say my income might stay at the same level or even decrease. You're right, I agree. But you most certainly won't get more beautiful. If we talk finance, then your appearance will devalue and no one will look at you after 20 years. And over that time, I'll only increase in value while you lose your power and wither away. But I will keep growing. So it would be a bad idea to marry you. But we could spend some time together. I'm not trying to laugh at you and I didn't even think about that, unlike what you would do if my money disappeared. I'm not proposing to you, but we can go on a date. Think about my offer, I'll be waiting. It's not clear how this story ended and if she went on a date or ignored Peter. But Peter's response got a few thousand likes and quickly spread across the website. It reminds us that youth and beauty aren't eternal, but you need to invest in what will grow over time and what you can use for your whole life. For many people, this is education, work, family, and kids. In any case, our current investments will bear fruit later. Friends, do you agree with Peter's opinion? Write your own comments and leave a like. We'll see you later.